Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at a retro inspired mini laptop that I've had my eye on for a little while. Now these are actually available over on AliExpress and there's a couple different configurations that you can pick up. You can pick it up without a sound card. You can pick it up with an expansion board. It's really up to you. I'll leave some links in the description. And when I say this is a retro inspired mini laptop, I'm not talking about this being an emulation system that emulates old operating systems because this thing is actually powered by an Intel 8088 CPU. It runs MS-DOS and Windows 3.0, all packed into a small form factor portable laptop design. And I think this thing is really cool. Like I mentioned, I've had my eye on it for a while and when it was initially announced, I wanted to get one but it sold out almost immediately. But luckily, there is more stock available over on AliExpress. And there are a few options available. You can pick this up kind of bare bones without the Yamaha sound card or the IS-8A expansion board. And that's going to bring the price down a little bit, but I would highly recommend at least getting one with the sound card. I will leave links in the description to the one I received. And keep in mind, right now over on AliExpress, you can use code ALLONAE for $20 off purchases over $100. So this is known as the Book 8088. And yeah, I mean, we've got basically a simple design here. Now to put something like this together yourself, it would take a little bit of time, but I really like what they've packaged up here. So like I mentioned, I did get the one that has the Yamaha sound card and the expansion board. That way down the road, if I want to add a little extra to it, I can. But you know, if you go with the bare bones model, basically you're just going to get the 8088 laptop itself and your 12 volt power supply. Overall, I'm actually digging the design. As you can see, we've got kind of a smoke finish here with the casing, so you can kind of see through it. It doesn't have a trackpad because, again, this is really meant to be used with MS-DOS. And unfortunately, if you wanted to use a mouse with this, you will need the expansion board and, let's say, a PS2 adapter so you can connect a mouse. Unfortunately, there's no ports here that allow us to do it just directly on the mini laptop itself. Even though we have USB over here on this side, it's just not going to work like that. This USB port is really here to mount a USB drive. And keep in mind, it needs to be a certain format and it can only work up to a certain capacity when it comes to MS-DOS or Windows 3.0. We also have some LED indicators over here and this does come with a 512 megabyte CF flash card. This is fully loaded, ready to go with MS-DOS and Windows 3. Everything you really need can fit on this card here. And moving over to the right hand side, there is a 3.5 millimeter audio jack and our power button. And finally, around back, we've got our power input and our ISA bus expansion header. Kind of wish we had a little more I.O. here, like at least a keyboard connector on the unit itself. It's got a few bay doors that can be removed so we can access all of the chips here. And on the bottom, we've got this larger door, which is going to contain our 640Ks of system RAM and our 32 kilobyte CGA graphics chip. Up top, we've got a little more to work with. And on the right hand side, we've got our Yamaha OPL3 sound card. The Book 8088 does have dual stereo speakers up front, but unfortunately, I haven't found any way to control the volume, uh, no matter what I do with this unit here. So you're kind of stuck at that one volume level. But on the left hand side, right here on the palm rest, is where our CPU is going to be located. Inside, we have the NEC V20 clocked at either 4.77 MHz or 8 MHz with a key press, but you could also install an 8087 if you want to. Some people online complain that the 8087 chip installed in this unit does get a bit hot, so we're just going to be sticking with it like it sits right out of the box. So like I mentioned, we do have dual stereo speakers right there by the monitor. And by the way, we've got a 7-inch LCD display. It's definitely not the best 7-inch display that I've seen on the market, and viewing angles aren't that great. I kind of wish they would have used a higher-end IPS display here, but I really do see what they were going for with the Book 88 in the first place. So we're going to boot right up into the command. So we're going to boot right up into the command line here and we can just check our directories real quick. Like I mentioned, this does come preloaded with a bunch of great stuff. MS-DOS, we also have Windows 3. We can get right into the Windows directory here and we can see exactly what's installed or at least, you know, kind of get an idea of what's installed by the directories here. And, you know, if you didn't want to use command line, you can actually boot directly into Windows 3 if you want to. Pretty simple to do. From the main command line, we're just going to type in win. This is going to boot up Windows 3.0, which does come pre-installed in that 512 megabyte CF flash card. But again, mouse support here is null without that expansion board. It would have been nice if they added at least one PS2 connector on the side of this unit. I don't think it would have been that hard to integrate it into the system itself, and it would have made it a lot easier just to navigate everything. 
Having mouse support here with Windows 3 does make it a bit easier, but you know, with most operating systems out there on the market, especially older ones like Windows 3.0, which we have here, we can go through the whole operating system with just a keyboard. It does get kind of cumbersome sometimes, but you know, if that's what you gotta do, that's what you gotta do. I definitely want to test out a few of the preloaded games here, but before we move over to that, I did want to mention that AliExpress also sent over this new MoveSpeed NVMe SSD. I've actually got two of them. I've been using one of them in my main mini PC. Speeds are great here, and they offer a couple different storage options. So if you head over to their website, as you can see, MoveSpeed does offer a few different speeds for their drives and storage options from one terabyte, two terabyte, up to four terabyte. And they're not horribly expensive. One terabyte for $53.28, in my opinion, is a pretty good deal. And this has worked out really well in my mini PCs. This also comes with a few preloaded games. So if you check our games directory here, it'll give us a list. And um, I think we have, yeah, Akinoid, ABC, GA, and Duck Game. I'm going to go with Akinoid, but keep in mind, you could always load up your own games from a USB drive, or if you have a CF reader, you could just transfer them right over from another PC. Stick them right there in the games directory, and you can launch them directly from here, like we're going to do with Akinoid. And with this game here, I'm going to keep it at 4.77 megahertz. I'm not going to go up to 8 megahertz. I'm not exactly sure if the game would speed up or if it would correct itself, but I think 4.77 with Akinoid, it's going to run just fine. I'd actually like to test out the 8088 port of Doom on this. I didn't load it up, I just got these stock games here, but if you're interested in seeing that in a future video, let me know in the comments below, and I'll definitely have to get used to playing Akinoid here with this keyboard. But it seems to be running pretty well. Lots of fun games that you could actually install here and have a great time with. Another one that was ready to go on here was Magic Duck, and it really doesn't look bad on this LCD display. Now, if I had a huge light behind me, we'd see a little bit of glare here. And again, it would have been really nice for a really vivid IPS panel on something like this, but they wanted to keep that price down. But so far, I've actually been having a great time with the Book 8088. Lots of little stuff that I want to test out, but you know, if the operating system here is a bit dated for you, and you want to move on to a more modern operating system like Windows 95, over on their website, they actually have another little handheld known as the Hand 386. So it's got a 386 CPU, Windows 95, DOS, and it has the OPL3 sound card built in. I think this thing looks pretty cool. More of a handheld retro Windows device. But, you know, if this is something you'd like to see reviewed, just let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can pick one of these up also. And right now, AliExpress is actually running their 828 event. So you can get $20 off orders over $100 by using code ALLONAE. That's ALLONAE, all capital. And this is going to be running from August 18th to September 24th. So don't forget to use that code. But that's going to wrap it up for my first look video at the book 8088. Personally, really like this little setup here. I've got a little more planned for it. I'm going to be installing a few different applications, and I'll have at least one more video coming up. So if there's anything you want to see running on this, just let me know in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning a little more, I'll leave some links in the description. But that's it for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.